Hi, I'm Dan with Path Fast Homestead and wanted to show our outdoor kitchen. So my wife Erica and I and my daughter Maddie went and got this uh, over in Idaho. Um, it's what Erica wanted to do for her honeymoon. So we went to Idaho and we took three of these down in uh, 100 degree heat and uh, it was it was really neat but anyways we drug them back and we still have two more of them um we decided to build an outdoor kitchen out of this one so i thought i'd show you i wish that i had a uh, build video but i don't um but we are going to be taking this to our new property so you can stay tuned for that we'll be taking this down transporting it over to the new place and rebuilding it stop so one of the cool things about this I made it we got a lot of wind here so I made it so all of the uh, the sides slide up relatively easily do this all the way around but you kind of get the idea so uh, it lets a little daylight in um, I smoke a lot of barbecue meat in here so it's kind of nice to let the smoke out uh, just depends on what time of year um, I'm working in here so we got these from an old boy named Arnold and he had them ever since he was a kid so he he guesses that they're 1954 or something like that but he signed it started to get faint I put it underneath the uh, countertop but that was when he was 11 years old in 1963 so Arnold signed the silo and claimed it as his um, Arnold's still kicking he'll call us every once in a while and say howdy gang and uh, check in on us and see if we're looking for more silos so anyways i'll shut these back down and they do open all the way around well actually we'll leave this one up for light So this is how I run it a lot of times while I'm cooking out here. So we might as well start with the cool part over here. Um, I built the cabinets in here. Uh, and then I had a buddy of mine. I built the template, the pattern, and then he cut out and welded the countertop out of stainless. So, thanks Mike, if you're watching this. Um, anyways, it's got drawers in it, full of necessities. Uh, we have hot water. Whoops. The cabinet's all insulated, so it has a hot water tank in there. But I plumbed it with a frost free uh, right back here. So, it gets pretty cold here. So when I want to come out, clean some fish up, middle of winter, uh, it's got a switch in there too to shut the tank on and off. Um, I'll just open the sink up, hit the frost free valve down and switch the heater, you know, switch the element off and it kind of self winterizes. So that makes it a lot handier. Um, what else here? Oh, I decided to, I needed a spot to hide my beer for my buddies. So I went ahead and tucked the fridge in there. And we got 
the old oil barrel, garbage can. Uh, this is a 1951 of Keith Merritt, I believe. Uh, everything works on it. I really like cooking on it. Some of the neat things still has the Bakelite salt pepper shakers. I imagine that those get lost. First thing, timer still works. Uh, griddle, this is a griddle that works. Over here is a grill evader, so it's a broiler. Uh, the, the gas comes in at the top. You can adjust the height. Uh, probably pretty high tech back then. Uh, it's just the regular oven. And then the two bottom drawers, doors are, drawer, are warming uh, drawers. So, uh, another thing I needed some spots for utensils, pots, pans, a little bit extra light. So, I just added that not too long ago. This thing's kind of evolved as I've lived in it for a while. I figure out what I need. So, um, made this grill. I actually had a fella that was in high school getting certified for welding. So he built the base for this, cut the doors out, did a few things on it, and got state certified uh, for welding, I don't know, on this project or in the mix of it. Um, it's got a rotisserie. Uh, this is removable. It has this rack, has another expand metal rack here, and then it also has a uh, flat iron um, grill that goes in. It just sits right on top of this. So it's propane. It's got three uh, burners that are 30,000 BTUs each. Um, we don't have a lot of hardwood here, so uh, I'd rather have a stick burner, but for where we're living here, uh, the gas works better. So I built, this is an old sausage press. Um, I made it into a smoke generator. So it's just a stainless steel basket uh, in the bottom. Normally, this propane tank would set behind the, the gas oven. Um, I use a variable pressure regulator on it, uh, but I have it over at the new property. So for now it's here, but normally this would be here. Uh, we just, I can just light the basket for the smoke and it's got a fish tank pump. So it blows through this tube into the bottom of the barbecue and I'll get about four to six hours of smoke. It's a Venturi style, so it keeps itself burning clean. Um, and then you can set your draft, uh, watch your smoke, and set your draft with the lid based on um, what the smoke's looking like coming out the top. So that's a neat deal. Helped out a lot. Do a lot of 17 to 24 hour smokes, uh, briskets, and stuff. And, it sure does make it nice to not have to babysit it all the time. Um, probably last thing, this was my dad's uh, big chief smoker. Um, it ran really hot with this control knob. So I built a uh, PID controller and now I can hold it plus or minus a half degree. So end up using it a lot for a warmer. So if I do brisket, freeze it, um, vacuum seal it, freeze it, want to bring it out later to reheat, you know, I'll set this at 140 degrees, leave it in there all day in the, in the bag and it won't burn it. So, um, makes it kind of nice. Probably use it for that. I'll, I'll, uh, when I'm butchering pigs, um, I will cure the bacon and the hams in here, so uh, it works great for that. But it's just electric, so it's got a chip pan in the bottom. Um, let's see, 
Up top, uh, I've got the big uh, remote control fan. I'll reverse that. As you can see, there's some daylight up at the cap. I set the cap on this a little bit taller. Usually they sit right down um, on top of the lid there. So I set it up and I can reverse the fan, pull smoke up and out the top. Um, but I was having some condensation coming off that cap, usually when it was frosty out. And when it would warm up, it would drip down into the top of the fan, into the remote. Um, so I replaced it once and decided I didn't want to do that again. So I used that milk can. It kind of fits in here anyways. And set it down over top of the, the pole that the fan hangs from. And that keeps all the moisture off of the uh, remote sensor up there. So I did that quite a few years back. Um, I haven't had any problems since, so we'll call it a win. Trying to think if there's anything else. It'll be fun to move, that's for sure. Oh, in the bottom, when I poured this concrete, I wanted it uh, like a funnel, everything sloped towards the center, and it is. So I used a, a center pipe in here but it has a French drain um, with drain rock in there. So when I'm in here, um, I, I do up a lot of fish in here and make a mess on the floor. And I'll just take the sink sprayer and spray the floor down and sweep it down the drain. So that, and if there's any little pinhole leaks in the roof, you can see some daylight really don't care they can come in hit the concrete go down the drain so um, all the way around I don't know if you can really see uh, let's see here maybe Erica can hold the camera up underneath the it's hard to show during the daylight but I've got LED lights all the way under the sink there um, during when you know at nighttime the LED lights are enough to come in we'll have a fire pit next to this we need to come in grab a beer or some snacks uh, the LED lights provide enough light without blinding everybody I also have them all the way around uh, let's see here well, you can't see them they're on this panel they're not on right now is part of the reason, but they're, they're on. Um, so if you can see those, they're right over here, huh? They light up um, the outside. You probably see them out here. Yeah. They'll light the bar top up. Um, we could change colors on them. So the other thing during the summer, uh, I put misters in and they go all the way through this channel, uh, all the way around the bin. And those make it nice. Uh, we get 100 degree temps easily here during the summer. So if I am cooking in there and it gets hot, I could turn the misters on. We're a pretty dry climate, so. Uh, it helps cool things down quite a bit. Uh, I think one more thing here that was kind of handy. I cut uh, a piece of, of spare uh, bin material. Um, made a door there so that's where I put the propane tanks in and out of so they're not generally in the, in the floor space inside tidies it up a little bit the other thing I did with this bin is it's normally a 14 foot bin and if Erica comes up here you can see where the walls used to be right here 
So this was all that was sticking out for uh, Eve. So I shrunk it to 13 foot um, and gives the gives the bar top a little bit more protection. Uh, made this, it's 40, 38 feet continuous. Um, these boards were stored in a attic on stickers for shoot, I don't know, probably 10 to 20 years. Um, I thought they were plenty dry enough. Put them on, seal them up, and it did what wood will do. It moved. I knew that that making them pie shaped uh, wasn't wasn't the best plan. Um, however, I didn't have enough of them to make them straight. They would have fared better if I had went section at a time and then rounded the edges. Uh, they would have expanded this way instead of this way. Now they're tearing themselves apart. So when I move it, we're going to be in a wetter climate. So. I don't know if I'll cover it in epoxy or what I'll do. We I just refinished these this summer, this last summer. And the sun here is brutal, so I need to do figure out a new plan. But I have pads buried around the outside to put um, some st stools or some sort of something on there. I wanted to be creative, so. I just put the pads in and I was waiting to find that right thing. Uh, tractor seats has been done. Um, I was trying to find something unique that you know I hadn't seen before. Uh, a lot of the things on this build uh, were things that um, you know I used the thing for a year until I had come up with an idea of how to how to slide the um, windows up. I didn't want them on a track. I, I've seen where they put them on an outside track and they spin this way. Um, I had an idea that I was going to use uh, linear actuators at the top drop, flip the switch, and it would lift the roof. Um, the biggest thing this solves all the problems of sometimes you don't want the whole roof open and uh, sometimes you just want one slide open that's on the down wind side just to get some light and fresh air but you don't want to get uh, blasted it definitely affects the cook time so anyways we won't be putting in anything here uh, when we take it to the new place I'll have my sawmill set up so I may cut some big burly beams and use those uh, as bench seating around the outside um, but thanks for staying this long if you have um, we appreciate you watching and hanging in there. Keep checking in on our videos. So have a good day.